Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Today, back up. Yesterday, I was filming a video. Not yesterday. My last video. You know, the last video that I filmed. Um, I commented on that yesterday. Yesterday I was commenting back and forth with an intelligent, a very bright young guy named Gus. His name is Gus Jenkins. I had to redo this because I kept saying his name wrong. His name is Gus Jenkins. He and I had a conversation yesterday in my last video in the comment section, which I pinned. He and I went a good respectful uh, we had a good respectful conversation in the comment section of my last video that I pinned. And uh, he said, he was, he said, uh, Carlton, this video that you're showing, if you're walking down the street, this shows me nothing. This, how, how does this show that, that gang stalking exists? What's this got to do with gang stalking? And I told him, you were right. I said, you're right. That video does not show that gang stalking exists. But I told him, Okay, and then because he, he said, um, he, and he said, um, so anyway, so yeah, so anyway, I agreed with him on that. I said, yeah, you're right. That, that video doesn't show that gang stalking exists. But I told him on August 29th of every year, people will walk down the street. They'll wear a t-shirt that says something about targeted individuals or gang stalking. They hand out flyers. Uh, they hold up the, the signs like a picket sign. Uh, and I said, um, but that's just one day. That's, that's just one day out of the year. And I was later on, I was thinking to myself, you could have put the, the date, October 29th, under, my, under that video a few days ago. That, um, and it would have, it would have, it would have fit. Because I told him, that's just one day out of the year that people spread awareness, they wear the t-shirts, they hand out flyers. They do like I, like I did in that video, walk down the street. Then after that, nobody does anything else as far as spreading awareness. And so I was telling them how that's unique. I told them, you're not going to find that. And so I was, I was showing that in the video, how that does happen. People do. I was showing you how, what it looks like for somebody to wear one of these T-shirts in public, out in the public, uh, on a day that's not August 29th. So that's what that video was about. Actually, I wasn't trying to make it show where, look, I'm being gang stalked. I was trying to show me just out in the public because it does happen. <laughs> that does happen, and it doesn't, have, doesn't just happen on that one day, August 29th. It happens for me whenever I go out. I go to Walmart, I go to the bank, I go to the park, I go to the library, anywhere I go. So for every day, in a way, it's kind of like August 29th for me every day. And August 29th, I'm not sure if I mentioned, is World TI Day, Global TI Day. And a guy named Matt Arnegard, he made a great video. He made a great video about that one year. I'll see if I can find that. And we just commented, you know, all around the world. We just said, you know, I'm Carlton, I'm a targeted individual. And people told some of their stories. But anyway, and so what else did he say? Oh. Yeah, so he said, that if, tar if, if gang stalking is so real, now, mind you, this is very respectful. This is a respectful, intelligent guy. And see, this is what we want. We want people to ask questions, you know, in a respectful manner. That's what, so he's doing his part. He, he wants to know about gang stalking. So, um, because he was saying, if it's so real, Carlton, if, if gang stalking is so real, how come there's no awareness being spread? If it's so real, how come nobody talks about it? And uh, so, you know, that's what I was doing. So, um, and all this is on the last video, our conversation. So, um, he said, how come he can't see it? That's another thing he said. Because he has um, PTSD. And he said, uh, because of that, he said, he's gained a unique perspective. By the way, this person, this, this nice young gentleman, 
is named Gus Jenkins. Gus Jenkins. Like I said, I had to do the whole video over because I, I kept saying his name wrong. His name is Gus Jenkins. And he's going to be in the comment section of this video. Because, um, let me back up. I don't want to get too... So he said, so he has PTSD. So he said that he, uh, because he has PTSD, he has a unique perspective. He said he's very keen. He's, he's very aware of what's going on around him. So he said, if you can see it, if you can see gang stalking as being real, how come I can't see it, he was saying. I said, okay. I, you know, I didn't really know why he couldn't see it, but he said, because he said, uh, you know, I should be able to see it. So, um, so he's going to be in the comment section of this video. Um, I asked permission. I asked him permission. And this was in the, the last video. And, and in that comment section of that last video, I asked permission if I could. I told him he, you're asking great questions. Can I have it where everybody asks you? Um, everybody answers your question. You, you ask, go ahead and ask everybody questions I told him I said are you, is you are you all right with me doing that making a video for you see because this video I probably I'm gonna put it in the title and everything it's gonna be dedicated to Gus Jenkins and um, he he gave me permission he's actually he said you don't have to even ask for permission friend so you see the rapport that we have very respectful there was no cussing each other out this is a level-headed guy. There was, there was none of that. So, um, getting a little, getting a little chilly. That's where I got the hoodie on. Uh, <clears throat> very respectful. So I don't know if I mentioned, but I feel like he's doing his part, y'all. He's asking questions. We want people to ask questions about it. He's asking in a very civil manner. Uh, and he, so he's gonna ask questions. Um. Now, when y'all answer the questions, because they're going to be, all this is going to be, all the action, all the stuff is going to be in the comment section of this video. And um, I'm not going to agree on all of your answers, but that's okay. I want to be sure I said that. I'm not going to agree on all the answers that you have for his questions, but that's okay. That's fine. Um, and y'all are not going to agree on everything that I say to him, all my responses to him too because I didn't mention the V2K and the, uh, the uh, you know, where you get burns and stuff on your microwave. I didn't mention that, but, um, okay, so it's gonna be in this comment section. He gave me per permission respectfully. He said, you don't, you don't even need my permission, friend. I wanted to extend that courtesy to him though, because we have a good rapport going, so y'all be good to him in the comment section. And I found a definition um, for gang stalking. Because, you know, when that lady, I had a video where a lady asked me what gang stalking was, and I couldn't even give her a definition. So this is by, the definition is by, by this person. GBM Bailey. GBM Bailey and the book is Closing the Gap. Here's a definition that this person gave of gang stalking. Okay, a simple definition. Under, men under mental health, occupational health and safety and a variety of other laws, individuals are being flagged and placed on community notification lists. This is happening in many cases without the target's knowledge. In many countries, these community notifications are being used by places of employment, educational facilities, and communities to target innocent individuals, such as whistleblowers, people, in, people who filed lawsuits, the outspoken, nonconformists, etc. In conjunction with these notifications, companies and others are in some cases using a practice that was used in the former Soviet Union called the psychiatric reprisal. This is used as a means of retaliation, blacklisting, silencing, 
or controlling members of society. Once on the notification system, warnings about the targets are sent out to every individual the target comes in contact with, thus poisoning their associations and socially annexing the targeted individual. Now, I wasn't going to tell, give that lady that long definition, but there'll, there'll be ways that I can, because uh, this is the, this is the simple definition. But there'll be ways that I can shorten that. Because we need a definition, y'all. We got people asking. We got, we got people. They're doing their part. They're like, you know, what, are, what is this? What, what are you wearing? And I'm basically saying, I, I don't know. See? They give a full definition. I'm not going to read that one. But just in part, it's by the same person. It says, gang stalking is a system is a systematic form of control which seeks to destroy every aspect of a targeted individual's life. Because they go into a longer definition. And I'm getting this out of, out of this book. Okay, so this is gonna be dedicated to my guest. My paper flew on the ground, but his name was Gus Jenkins. This is my, he's my guest today and he's gonna be in the comment section of this video. He agreed to this. Um, he can handle your answers back and forth, um, and he's very respectful. So, as my guest, please be respectful to him. All right, thanks, y'all.